Alright, what's up guys? Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at some really beautiful maps here. So, uh, let's just dive right into it. Ah, here we go for all of our gamers out there. We got a map of France in Super Mario World style. <laughs> Today I learned that France is an island. Yeah, apparently. Didn't even really take that in. Ah, that's why it's called Isle de France. Wait, it's actually an island? I was going to say... That almost blew my mind for a second. But no, we're safe. As an Icelander and Saturday Night Live fan, this has always irked me. And what the hell is that, Saturday Night Live? I never really noticed how terribly ugly this map is in some parts. Like, what is happening over here to Ireland and Spain and Greenland and Iceland? My god. Wow, and here we got another really, really cool map. This is kind of just showing how St. John's Newfoundland is actually closer to Vienna than two of our big cities that are on the west coast of the country. So pretty interesting, kind of shows how massive Canada is. Yeah, see, we are one big motherfucking country. Wow, and this is crazy. I mean, wealth inequality is pretty awful all around the world, but I mean, this is just next level. If India's land were divided by India's wealth, actually insane. Someone used the uh, pegs and elastic bands or something to create a world map. That is super dope. Very creative. Here's a pretty interesting map of international country calling codes. I thought everyone was just one, <laughs> to be honest. Nope. Oh, okay. And yeah, there is some logic to it, apparently. Here we got a map for all my bird watchers out there. How to say crow in uh, all these different languages, apparently. Ah, yes. And here we have the birth and growth of a true American hero. Walmart. Still kind of like Midwest. Well, I guess not Midwest, just, you know, Middle America. It's actually a lot missing in the Midwest. Wow, they've just taken over like the eastern half of the country. So wait, this is 2006. There still wasn't a whole lot in the Midwest there. I was kind of surprised actually. Here we got Ray and Selmo showing us all the countries you've seen movies from. He's only got a few outliers here in like Central and South America. We got Suriname and a bunch of African and Middle Eastern countries basically. This is impressive. Here we got dot topography, which is the thing apparently. Uh, elevation represented by dot size. And obviously you can see, you know, the Canto uh, what is it, the Canto Plain? Uh, I think that's about here. This is where most everyone lives, and obviously the mountains that run up and down the island. Here we got names of European countries in Indonesian. Pretty cool. I know recently we had that one of European country names in uh, Mandarin, I think it was, so this is pretty cool. Different uh, perspective here. A lot of these are actually very close to what we know them as, or literally just the same. Zero population in the US. Kind of all the green areas are showing blocks that have apparently zero population. And you can see kind of like the Midwest, a lot of Alaska, and surprisingly, like a lot of Hawaii as well are all uninhabited in a lot of places. Although people in the comments seem to not like this map so much just because of the way they gathered the data, I guess, uh, with census blocks. But either way, pretty cool map. Here we have a map of people living in extreme poverty if you're making under $1.90 US a day. Surprisingly, uh, I thought, you know, the US and Canada might be on top here, but no, it is actually Russia, Kazakhstan, Finland, Iceland, France, Germany, looks like Benelux, we got a couple other uh, European countries in there, but honestly, I'm very surprised with some of these. Is that Belarus? Belarus? Really? I don't know. This, some of these surprised me. They got no data for Philippines or Cambodia. There's actually a lot they don't have data for. Anyways, pretty interesting map. So this is a collage map, and honestly, my brain hurts, and I can't look at this for too long. Europe's most populous cities, and it's actually also showing you which one's most populous city is not the capital of that country. And of course, as you can see here, it's pretty much only Turkey, Switzerland, and Belgium. Whereas everyone else, it's just the capital is the most populous city. And I'm sure a lot of you people out there have already knew a lot of this, but still, also, interesting actually i just noticed is down in malta st paul's bay or Quarmy. i'm not really sure it looks red though i'm assuming valletta is not the most populous city in malta i actually didn't know that that's pretty interesting here we got name of european countries in celtic apparently which is pretty cool you know a lot of these are you know the same or very similar like italia and russia but 
a lot of these are very very different like Albane for Scotland that's really interesting so this is a really really interesting map I've never seen anything like this before it's showing the most expensive and least expensive uh, detached homes in each province and territory along with their prices um, so you can see kind of which provinces have the uh, higher property values. You know, not huge surprises here. It looks like Ontario's pretty well on top here. But actually, the thing that I find most interesting about this map is if you look at the lowest price houses in the territories, they're actually insanely pricey versus the lower price housing in the provinces. So... That is very, very interesting. I'm assuming that's because uh, it's just harder to build housing up there and sustain yourself. But another thing I noticed is that they don't have any information for none of it. So what, like, what is going on there? So here we got the tallest buildings by European countries. And apparently this is in meters. So Russia, Poland, and UK are just dominating this. France, Germany, and Turkey shortly behind them. But come on, these Nordic countries are just not pulling their weight for this one here. Except for Sweden. Sweden, you can come hang. Here we got another one of those uh, European countries in a different language maps. This time we have a low resolution image of European countries in Turkish. Here we got a pretty funny one. Challenges count how many peninsulas are on Norway. Go ahead and spend the rest of your life counting peninsulas on Norway. Go for it. And same deal for Greenland. This one looks even more terrifying. And you know what? By this logic, I'm sure that you could do the same with the Arctic Archipelago in Canada as well. You would just be here all day counting peninsulas. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Uh, if this is something that you guys enjoy, let me know. I will definitely uh, create some more of these in the future for you guys. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Uh, it really does help the channel out a lot. And yeah, have a great day, guys. And don't forget to keep exploring. Cheers.